Hello ladies and gents, and welcome to the World Builder Wiki video series for Company of Heroes 2 with me, Monolithic Bacon. This video is the first of many that will highlight the key aspects of creating your first map with the World Builder software and guide you through the various steps to complete a competitive and creative map. These video guides will be placed at key points within the wiki itself, where extra information, care or accuracy are required to support you through the process of making your first map for Company of Heroes 2. What we'll go through in part one of this video is where the world builder itself is located and how to get access to it. We'll be going through how to ensure that all the folders and files are in place that you'll need to save your maps. And we'll also have a look at creating shortcuts so that you can save time in the long run. Even though the world builder has changed over the course of several different games, most of the tutorials and the skills that we will cover in this wiki series will remain applicable across the board. The hope for this series is that you will be able to confidently and accurately create your own visions of multiplayer maps for Company of Heroes 2. What you should be able to see on your screen at the moment are a few examples of my own works. These are all different maps that have been created using this software and should give you just a glimpse of the different things that are possible. Within this first tutorial we'll be looking at where to find the world builder tool itself and where to start setting up folders. The problem that we have with the world builder is that it accesses files from several locations and the files that you save will not necessarily be in the same place as the files that you publish ready to be played in game. So the first step is to find the world builder itself and find out what folders we'll need to make. The first step you'll need to do is to go into your Steam directory. If you go into your computer and go into whichever drive you might have Steam installed on, mine happens to be the B drive but usually you'll find it's the C drive, go into the Steam directory itself and find Steam apps. Within Steam apps you'll also find the folder common and you should be able to find the Company of Heroes 2 folder or whichever game it is that you are trying to access the Will Builder for. Inside Company of Heroes 2 in particular you should be able to get access to all of the individual files you need but the Will Builder itself should be a little program down at the bottom on its own. Now what I would highly recommend you do so that you don't have to go through this process more than once is to right click it and just simply either create a shortcut or pin it to your start menu. Mine has been pinned there already. However, while we're still inside this directory, we could do with setting a few folders up. If you go up to the Code 2 folder, then into Data, then Scenarios, and MP, this is the location where all of your files will be saved. As you can see in mine, there's a lot of folders already there. I've been doing this for several years. However, if you go back to the Code 2 folder and you don't have a data folder there, you'll need to create it. And equally, if inside data there is nothing else here or the scenarios folder in particular isn't there, that is one that you'll have to create. Either way, once you are inside your scenarios and MP folder, just right click anywhere you want, go on to new and create folder. Once you're there, create a new folder, something along the lines of 2p underscore flood. Now I already have a folder under this name because I've started creating the tutorial but the idea with this folder name is we will create a file that is the exact same name. All the folders and file names need to match up so even if you don't have an idea of what kind of map you want to make create a generic title. In this case this one refers to a two player map based around a flood. Pretty generic but it isn't the file name that's important. If you want to have a classy name at the end, we'll change that within the world builder. After that, all you need to do is go back onto your desktop and leave a shortcut for this location behind. Now again, this isn't necessary, but because you'll be going back and forth into this folder, it is recommended. Right click, go onto new, and then highlight shortcut. Once you've got your shortcut menu coming up, all you need to do is find the location of what you're looking for. In this case, we will have to backtrack to this folder itself. So I will go back into my Steam directory, 
and find out exactly where we need it to be. Make sure that your shortcut specifically looks at the Code 2 Data Scenarios MP folder as that will give you access to the most important area. Go to data scenarios MP. Once you have the location correct, hit next and within the name of it, usually I would choose something that will tell you exactly what file type you are working with. So in this case, I'm going to call it willbuilder.sgb. The reason why it's SGB is because when you are working on a new project, you'll have an SGB file. And this is the type of file that can be edited inside the willbuilder. The other type, SGA, is the published type which will be playable in-game, which you can't open with a willbuilder unless you extract it. So, I'm going to take this uh, shortcut that I've got, I'll cut it and I will paste it onto the desktop so I have easy access. Now before we finish this little bit up, we need to try and find the last location which should be much easier. If you go back into your menu and you go to your documents, the world builder tool itself will create several documents in here um, every single time that you try to publish a new file. But what we need to do is make sure that the folders themselves are already there. If you go into My Games, or whatever your equivalent will be, find the Company of Heroes 2 folder which should have been created as the game was installed. Go into Mods, and then into Scenarios. And again, if the Mods and Scenarios folders aren't there, you can create them yourself. Within this Scenarios folder, again, I have loads of different things here, but in all likelihood, you will have none. These are all SGA files which have been published and most of them have since been published onto the workshop. But when you are ready to save your file to be played in game, this is where it will go. Now you can choose to create this, a shortcut in the exact same way as you did the SGB file, but personally for me, the documents location isn't too difficult to reach, it's only a few folders in and you'll only use this location once or twice. You may never even have to go near it if you publish your files and just play them and don't have to edit them afterwards. Still, just remember that if your mods and scenarios folder is not there as it says on my directory up here, make sure that you create them yourself and the game will realize that you've done so and it shouldn't cause a problem. Once you've got all those folder locations in place, in particular you have the link to the world builder itself on your desktop somewhere so you have easy access to it, and you have a link to the SGB folders in your Company of Heroes directory, then you are ready to get started. Just click the World Builder tool, and you'll find yourself met with the debug window, which can be pretty much ignored, and the World Builder itself. Straight away from here, what we need to do is go into File, hit New Multiplayer Map, and it will ask us immediately for the location. Now, what you'll need to do is go back to the Company of Heroes 2 location in your Steam directory. Co2 data scenarios MP and then the folder that you created. Within here, make sure you create a file name which is exactly the same as your folder name, and when you're ready, hit save and it will start the process of creating a new map. The rest of that process we'll cover in tutorial two. This is just to get you started. But something to bear in mind is that this first process can be game breaking. If you encounter any issues at this stage, make sure you go back and check over the video again. If not, go over the written wiki that we have instead. Make sure that you have a strong foundation before you start mapping, but hopefully everything should go absolutely fine.